We're a technology company. We're not a craft distiller. We're not a micro distiller. Uh, we have a technology that changes, dramatically changes, how you produce and mature and age whiskey. Well, you know, for generations, we really have been doing things the same way. Normally, you put it in a barrel and you wait. You wait very patiently. Temperature changes, causing pressure changes inside the barrel. The, the alcohol is pushed in and out of the pore structure of that wood. It's a very slow process, and I'm certainly not that patient a person. So, so this is actually, this is one of the tanks that we use. It's a stainless steel pressure capable tank. So instead of sitting in a barrel for six, eight, 10 or 12 years, everything goes into these tanks, the raw distillate as well as the wood. We close this up, attach it to our system and essentially apply those pressure variations, high pressure in the vacuum, high pressure in the vacuum. You know, Cleveland is part of our name, but that actually came from some solid market research. Uh, we didn't just put Cleveland on the label because we were selling here in Cleveland. It was because we knew we were going to go national and international. We did over 600 interviews around the country and the Cleveland name tested best in Boston, in Seattle, in Los Angeles, in Dallas, and in Chicago. All the major metros where we tested it. People said to them, Cleveland stood for something that was authentic and genuine, that was hardworking, entrepreneurial, and edgy. The beauty of this area is that it's very entrepreneur friendly. I mean, I've started and run businesses in both um, Boston and Seattle, so on both coasts. The beauty here is I think people are inclined to support different types of businesses. It doesn't just have to be a software business or a, or a new application you put on your iPhone. It can be something tangible that we make, that we can produce. And I think that's a great thing about this region. I love it here. I mean, a lot of people sit back and they plan and they plan and they plan forever. You have to get into the marketplace and determine what people like, what they don't like. Listen to the market. I mean, we've certainly made changes over time. You know, I came across some things, made some stupid mistakes that turned out to be great avenues for, for further research and, and came up with this technology that really disrupts the nature of the business.